was not very good but it was better than the average YouTube video about Gangnam Style and Harlem Shake. Unfortunately it was not good enough to make up for the subpar theater experience. It was basically a 3 hour let's play of a fighting video game with Biblo Bagging and Gandalf as the main character. The only thing missing was the non-stop whines of a Swedish man yelling about rape. Anyway long story short it was not very good when compared to the Peter Jackson other movies created by the Peter Jackson. So fast forward a year into the future and the Peter Jackson has released a new movie in the Hobbit series because apparently three hours wasn't long enough to convey the story of a short children's book. So I said wow sign me up and went to my nearest movie theater located at the mall. I had two hours before the movie starting at the mall I decided to head over to the Hot Topic location at the mall. Once I entered the Hot Topic I was pressured into buying $2000 on my Little Pony Plus highs at the partner store build a bear workshop. Once I was there they pushed other services like call me maybe sound chips on me and I walked out of the store with a 7 ton bag of bears and no live savings. I looked at the time and realized I had it was 4 minutes until the last showing of The Hobbit ever and I had no money left to spend to buy the movie ticket. Fortunately the Microsoft store was across the street so I headed over there and asked for some free handouts. Fortunately, they said. Wow yay Jerome here take $200 for the Hobbit, we just wasted 6 billion on the Microsoft Surface, a few billion here and there won't matter. So I said wow thanks, waved my Apple iPhone at them and ran to the theater as fast as my African American legs would take me to the theater. I convinced them that I was 12 years old and bought the youth ticket so save some money. Sat down in the optimal location inside as of the movie theater. The staff got a little mad at me because my 7 ton bag of bears was taking up half the theater but I threatened to call them racist and they said oh, okay never mind sorry man. So I was just on time and my body was ready to watch the movie video cinema experience. But unfortunately I first had to sit in the theater watching previews for up to but not limited to 40 minutes. My favorite preview was the preview for The Ultimate Spider-Man 2, the video game for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance is a very good system and I am looking forward to playing a video game movie. Anyway the rest of the previews were about some sort of action thing involving Bill Clinton. It was a strange lucid expire nice in the movie theater. Then suddenly some weird CGI dog came up and ate my cell phone or something and they were like the movie is starting so I put down my Nintendo iPad and started to be looking at the video cinema screen out of fear that the giant theater man would appear behind me and bring me into an action scene alike to the action scenes found in the Hobbit video theater which I will be explaining my experience within the next paragraph s. The video movie theater cinema experience started and my body could not be more ready for this experience to be watching with my own two eyes which I was with born with. The movie started in the town of Bree in the world of the world of the rings. It zoomed in on a cat. Now this cat was probably the best moment in the entire movie. I was so transfixed by the cat that I missed Peter Jackson appearing in the movie. The cat I feel had sort of a symbolic appearance in the movie as it was probably the most interesting thing to appear in the movie. The cat had green eyes and black fur, sitting on the counter staring into the screen as if he was warning the audience about the next three hours of their life. Anyway as I was saying earlier, Peter Jackson, being the egotistical bastard that he is, placed himself in his own movie. I was too mesmerized by the cat though, so it didn't faze me. So anyway this was some horrible flashback to remind you of the not so memorable movie that you watched a year ago. I guess Peter Jackson didn't expect people to remember his last movie, so he included a not so great recap of the previous events. To be honest I wasn't appreciative of either notion. The movie then jump cut to Martin Freeman's face and the high class action action scene movie continued on in the realm of the Lord of the Rings on the theater cinema screen. They were like wow where do we go oh no the giant blue orc is just chasing us and what do we do?
so they decided to go to some form changing guy's house in the middle of a field and he was currently a giant bear so they ran from it and in true action movie fashion they closed the doors just as the bear got to them so anyway this whole character was just a little something to appeal to the bestiality perverts in the audience peter jackson knows his audience well just as the my little pony creators know about their brown eyes so anyway they're like wow we go to go fast and something happened and then wow skip forward a few hours past some redhead love triangle with elf man and dwarf man and we arrive at the dragon named smudge the dragon somehow learned to speak english or any other language if you're watching it in a different language so he's like talking to a Bilbo or something and oh no the dwarf man is dying and the redhead elf has to save him but Legolas also likes her so who does he choose and wait no jump cut now Gandalf is doing something with Radagast the great and back to the dragon Smodge is like oh no I'm going to kill you Bilbo and he's like oh no I need to get the white jewel and then the dwarfs come in and are like wow we gonna die and then the dwarf king gets on and sled and rides down a channel of molten gold and somehow doesn't die Ah ha anyway they found the weak spot on the dragon which was created by some guy and then they decide to ignore it and instead do some things with the forges to create a good action scene alike to the other action scenes happening non-stop during this three-hour movie so then they coat him in molten gold and he somehow doesn't die because Draco Knight has an extremely high melting point apparently. And then he flies out and says he's going to kill some people and then Bilbo watches and says, Oh no what have we done? And I sarcastically shout, end of movie as the movie fades out and ends. This really got me riled up and I took up a 45 meter fully automatic as alt rifle and killed everyone in the theater. They really should have called it, The Peter Jackson Hobby Part 2, where Smodge doesn't get killed and the movie ends mid-chapter. So then I ran out with my fully as alt rifle and so I ran out shooting every person in sight. Eventually I shooting everyone in the cars and then I went to Hot Topic. I was about to kill everyone in the store but then I remembered the love story of the redhead and the dwarf king and the elf lord Legolas and remembered what true love is like and decided to not kill the civilians. I decided that I have had enough of this bullshit and decided to go into the